Hey everyone, in this video, let me just briefly go over what is the meaning of sickle cell disease. So the sickle cell disease is our the you know, group of disorders where there is a defect in the hemoglobin molecule that is present in the red blood cells. So what are the diseases that are coming under sickle cell disease? This sickle cell disease is a category. Within this sickle cell disease, we have different disorders that are coming up. So I have listed all those disorders here. So under sickle cell disease, we, we see sickle cell anemia. I have made a video on that. Link for that video is available in the description below. We have sickle cell trait, HBSC trait, HBSC disease, sickle beta 0 thalassemia, sickle beta plus thalassemia. Let me just briefly go over all these diseases, not really uh, getting into too much details because I am good to make a video on all these disorders. I have already made a video on sickle cell anemia and other videos will be available soon and I will give uh, links for them in the description below. Now, sickle cell anemia. So sickle cell anemia is a homozygous condition where uh, beta globin present in a hemoglobin molecule. So especially the sixth amino acid which is glutamate, it will be replaced by hydrophobic amino acid valine. So because of this what happens, so the more hydrophobic forces will happen and whenever hemoglobin go into deoxy state, that is T state of hemoglobin, so these hemoglobins they will polymerize each other and they will make a sickled red blood cell. And that sickling of the red blood cell will lead to vaso occlusion, spinomegaly and all the issues related to vaso occlusion that is microinfarction and variety of signs and symptoms you are going to see there. And that's what happens in sickle cell anemia. So it is uh, written as HBSS and both the beta globin genes are of sickle type. That's the homozygous condition, autosomal recessive condition there. Sickle cell trait. Sickle cell trait here. So one of the hemoglobin, is, uh, one of the globin in a hemoglobin molecule is normal. That is a normal adult hemoglobin molecule and other is of sickle type. So that means only one beta globin glutamate at sixth position is changed into valine. So other beta globin is fine. So this this type of uh, red blood cell here containing one beta chain being abnormal usually doesn't pose any risk or any clinical signs and symptoms. That's why you don't see vaso occlusion, microinfarction, or uh, splenomegaly in this particular case. So that's the sickle cell trait here. Now coming to HBSC, uh, sorry HBC trait. Now the HBC trait it can also be written as HBAC. As you can understand, A for adult beta hemoglobin and C is the abnormal beta globin in a hemoglobin molecule. So what is this C here? So in HBAC, so one hemoglobin, one beta chain is normal, whereas the other beta chain, especially at the sixth amino acid, again sixth amino acid, just like uh, sickle cell uh, anemia or sickle cell trait. So the sixth amino acid in a globin, which is a glutamate, it is now replaced by lysine. So whereas in uh, sickle cell anemia, sickle cell trait, glutamate is replaced by valine. Here in HVAC, glutamate is replaced by lysine. So that's what is ACC is here. It is the replacement by lysine. And lysine, it is a positively charged amino acid. Unlike so valine, which is going on here in sickle cell trait or sickle cell anemia, that's an hydrophobic amino acid. Now here the glutamic acid which is a, a hydrophilic acidic amino acid is now replaced by a basic amino acid. So because of this, so there may be mild vaso occlusion here. So sorry, uh, there won't be any vaso occlusion, no splenomegaly. Generally this is an a, a asymptomatic condition. That's why you refer it as HBC trait here. Now coming to our next disease that is HBSC disease. In HBSC disease, so one of the hemo, uh, beta globin is of uh, S type, that is a sickle type, where glutamate at the sixth position is replaced by valine, and other beta globin is of C type, where glutamate is replaced by lysine. That means uh, this particular disease, HBSC disease, it has a combination of sickle cell anemia and uh, HBC trait, because one of the beta globin is of, is of S type, that is a uh, sickle type. Other beta globin uh, is of C type. So both the beta globins are defective here and both these defects are of different type. That's why HBSC disease is also referred as compound heterozygosity because the, it is a heterozygous condition. 
both the beta globins are different and this difference is also um, is uh, like uh, valine to glut uh, glutamate to valine and glutamate to lysine so the sixth amino acid in both the beta globins are changed and changed differently and that's what is hbsc disease and in this particular disorder patient will have vasoclusion uh, micro infarctions uh, splenomegaly all these uh, clinical signs and symptoms that we are going to see in hb uh, sickle cell anemia we are going to see here in hbsc disease so it's a uh, it manifests clinically it's a, a condition that can be manifested with so many cl clinical signs and symptoms coming to the sickle beta zero thalassemia in sickle beta zero thalassemia so hemoglobin one of the globin is of sickle type, other beta globin is zero, it is not synthesized. That's why the name of the disease is sickle beta zero thalassemia. So hemoglobin, one of the beta globin synthesized and that too it is a abnormal beta globin that is synthesized here where glutamate is replaced by valine like a sickle uh, cell anemia or a trait type and the beta globin is not at all synthesized. So that means patients generally do not have a significant amount of normal hemoglobin so in this particular disease so more than 90 percent of the hemoglobin will be of sickle type so patient will have vasoclusion micro infarction uh, splenomegaly and all the signs and symptoms uh, that you are going to see in uh, sickle cell anemia hbc disease can also be seen in sickle beta zero thalassemia coming to our last condition here sickle beta plus thalassemia so the sickle beta plus thalassemia where hemoglobin one of the glo globin is of sickle type where glutamate is replaced by valine and other beta globin synthesis will be decreased unlike sickle beta zero thalassemia where one of the beta globin is not at all synthesized here it is synthesized but in decreased quantity so in this particular type of disease so more than 60 percent of the hemoglobin will be of sickle type so again patients will have vaso occlusion micro infarction and also patients uh, experiences uh, means patient will have splenomegaly and experience all clinical signs and symptoms so that means the clinically uh, significant signs and symptoms can be seen in uh, conditions that is uh, sickle cell anemia will show it's, uh, it manifests uh, clinically uh, hb sc disease manifests clinically uh, sickle beta zero thalassemia manifest clinically sickle beta plus thalassemia these are the four conditions in sickle cell disease where a patient will manifest vas occlusion splenomegaly and all the signs and symptoms related to vas occlusion that is micro infarction and all the signs among all these six conditions the most severe condition among all sickle cell diseases are sickle uh, cell anemia and sickle beta zero thalassemia this is, these are the most severe condition out of all the six diseases that we are conditions that we have seen under the category sickle cell disease so this is all about sickle cell disease i hope you understand now what is the meaning of sickle cell disease compared to what is the meaning of sickle cell anemia why this is called a sickle cell disease and why uh, the, within that we have sickle cell anemia and all the other disorders which are classified or categorized under sickle cell disease where uh, the hemoglobin synthesis is affected especially the beta globin it's, 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 all these things are so they fall under structural hemoglobin of the piece and last two here five and six they also fall under reduced biosynthesis so this is all about uh, in brief about sickle cell disease uh, we'll see you in my next video